One of the most popular rigs in carp fishing at the moment has got to be the Ronnie rig or the Jara rig. And the Jara rig is the Nash's version of the Ronnie rig. And what that is, is a curved shank hook with a swivel already mounted to the eye. So you've got no need to mess about attaching swivels to hooks, it's already done for you. Although the hook end doesn't really change too much, and the only thing I tend to change is the length of baits I'm using to suit the type of bait that I'm fishing with. The thing you can change though is the hook link that you attach to the gyro swivel. That might be a long supple braided hook link or a short hook link. I personally prefer to use a short, stiff hook link, and the majority of the time I opt to use the fluoro link. The two main reasons for using a short, stiff hook link because one, the fish will come into direct contact with the lead as soon as it picks up the hook bait. And secondly, should the rig get picked up, it'll always reset itself. I can have my rods in the water sometimes for 24, 48 hours, and I know in my head my rigs are always fishing the whole time they're out in the water. So you need six components to tie up the gyro rig. Firstly, you obviously need the fang gyro hooks. I personally use this in a size four. You then need a kicker to cover the swivel that comes off the hook eye. I use the tungsten kickers, these are a great new addition to the range as they also help to counterbalance the pop up and with smaller baits there's no need for any additional putty. I then use a bait screw, this is to obviously mount my hook bait and depending on the bait that I'm using or depending on the size and type of bait screw that I use, I personally genuinely use an 8mm with a ring. I then use a tungsten hook bead and then obviously you've got your hook link. Hook link choice can vary. I personally, as I said, like to use a short, stiff hook link, so I always opt for the fluoro link. And as a basic rule of thumb, I like to start with around five to six inches. It's very easy to tie, and I'll run you through how to do so now. Firstly, I take a gyro hook, and I slide on the tungsten kicker. I push this past the eye, just till it covers the barrel on the swivel. I then slide on my bait screw of choice, and secure this in place by using a tungsten hook bead. I usually use the small version. If you're using larger hooks such as ones and twos, you'll need to step up to the large version. And then it's just a simple case of tying on your hook link. And as I said, I prefer to use the fluoro link. And I attach this to the ring of the swivel with a five turn grin or not. I then set the length of my hook link at around five to six inches. And in the opposing end, I tie a figure of eight loop knot. It's then just a simple case of attaching the rig to your chosen lead setup and screwing on a hook bait. Once I've done so, I'll add a small piece of cling on putty to the knot at the ring end of the hook link. I'll then test it in the margins, taking away a piece of putty at a time until my pop-up is critically balanced. So there you go, that's how I tie my short, stiff fang gyro rig. Take those six components and give it a go for yourself.